Hello guys, so today we are starting reported speech part 3 imperatives, okay? Remember we have already started affirmative and negative sentences in reported speech. We, ha we have also started questions, interrogative uh, mode in reported speech. Now we also have imperatives. Now just to remind you what imperatives are, they are every time that we make a command, okay? Every time that we order something, like for example, call me when you get home, all right, this is an imperative sentence. So if, for example, Martha uh, said to me, call me when you get home, when you um, say this in the reported speech, when you convert this, when you transform this sentence, you are going to need several verbs, okay? The verbs are going to be always the same ones. They're going to be tell, ask, order okay we are going to work with these three verbs for the b2 level that you are in so uh we are going to rewrite this sentence using one of these verbs now if you pay attention this sentence here you have say the verb say but say is not one of the imperatives uh reporting verbs okay so when you have this word this sentence and you find the word call me call you say okay this is an imperative so i'm going to forget about said altogether, um, and I am going to transform say into one of these, okay? Which one? You decide. You can choose tell or ask or order, no problems. So you say Martha, Martha told me, or Martha asked me, or Martha ordered me, and now the word, remember every time we are going to use a different word in the affirmative and negative, we used that. In the uh, interrogative, we used WH words like where, when, what, who, etc. Or the words if and whether. Now here we are going to use always the same word, only one. Very easy, which is going to be to. Okay, Ordered me to call her when I got home. Now the rest of the sentence you make the transformations that are appropriate, okay? You 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 transform you transform the sentence accordingly. If you say call me, you say call her, when you you is I, so I and then get in the past is got, okay? So the only transformation you really need is the verb here to use tell, ask or order and uh the the word to Okay, let me give you another example. So, for example, if you have um, the manager, uh, the manager shouted, mm, everyone go back to your rooms. Okay, so now as you can see here, this is another example of an imperative. Because you have everyone go back to your rooms. This is an order, okay? The verb here is shout, but we are going to sh we are going to change shout for one of these verbs, okay? Tell, ask, or order. So we are going to say the manager told us, or told sorry, told everyone would be the most appropriate thing. Told everyone, told or asked or ordered everyone to go back to their rooms okay and now if you look at this you are going to have uh, an exclamation it's usual that you find exclamations but when you make the transformation you don't place the the, the um, uh, exclamation mark because it's a feature of the imperative now this sentence is not an imperative so you don't need the imperative any the the exclamation anymore one last thing sometimes you are going to find uh, sentences like, for example, uh, pass me the salt, please. My mother uh, asked me. Okay. Sometimes you are going to have the the, the 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 verb given in the in the sentence already, so you are not going to change anything. All right. So you start. My mother asked me to pass her the salt. And now, we do not need please, okay? We are going to omit please. Every time that you find please in a sentence or something like mm, give me your, uh, give me some change if you don't mind. 
he told me okay uh, give me some change if you don't mind now if you if you find here if you don't mind if you pay attention is similar to please okay if you don't mind is a mark of politeness so we are going to erase we are going to delete every single mark of politeness so in this sentence we would say he told me to give him or her we don't know the the the, the sex of the person uh, to give him or her uh, some change some change all right so this is all you need to know about the imperatives now that you know this now that you know affirmative negative interrogative and imperative we only have one extra thing to study but that will be next day which is the causative okay that is very heavy stuff okay but so now so so far so far uh, uh, up up to now it's i think it's okay i think you can do that okay again uh thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions at all feel free to to ask me all right thank you guys take care